And we begin tonight with this breaking news update. Right now, fire continues to tear through a building in Omaha's Old Market. More than six hours after an explosion rocked a popular restaurant, destroying M's Pub, and now the apartments above it. The restaurant and stores in that building were full of people. Thankfully, right now, there have been no reports of deaths. One person was rushed to Nebraska Medicine in serious condition. And right now, the buildings in the immediate area have been evacuated, and many streets in that part of the old market are blocked as well. Thanks for staying up with us tonight. We're bringing you team coverage of the fire. KMTV's Emily Zink spoke with employees working inside the restaurant when the explosion happened. Meteorologist John Walsh will explain how the weather is making things more difficult for firefighters. But we'll begin with reporter Miranda Christian, who has more on what happened in Ems Pub today. Miranda? Yes, and this has just been a constant battle, a very active scene all day. I'll kind of step out of the way. This looks the best it has all day. The fire seems to finally be in somewhat of control. We just saw one of the fire operation trucks pull out of here, which is a good sign for the state of this fire. We've just seen it engulfing over and over. We saw another apartment catch fire earlier, and these firefighters have been working hard for these six hours to make sure that they keep as much of this building standing. Could have been a bomb go off is what our initial thought was. I don't know. That's just what we thought. Because that's, the, like I said, the building shook. Our windows shook. I was just in one of the shops and one of the guys said it shook his whole shop right when the explosion happened. People felt it. I mean, it looks like they can't control it right now and could see it after a possible explosion rocked the old market, igniting a fire that burned for hours. The first calls came at about three this afternoon. M's pub was full of diners and workers with shoppers and employees inside nearby stores. Uh, as of right now, the fire is still not under control. Fire Chief Bernie Kanger says the fire was raised to a second, then third alarm. Uh, the purpose of the second alarm was due to the extent of the fire the size of the structure and having to clear all of the buildings to make sure that we've evacuated all of the occupants and we could contain the fire. Firefighters pulled back, fearing the building would soon collapse. These types of structures have a brick exterior and a wood frame interior, which makes uh, a collapse potential very real for our people. As firefighters sprayed the building from ladders, part of the roof caved in. We have a defensive perimeter set up. The fire spread through the second and third floor of the building. Flames tore through the roof and windows. Through the day and into the night, neighbors watched in sad silence. I live two blocks away. It's close to home. Now, the start of this fire and what happened is still under investigation. It, we were told that there were actually workers working in the basement of here earlier today. Of course, we'll bring you updates with what happens when we find out. Reporting live in downtown Omaha, I'm Miranda Christian, KMTV Action 3 News. Okay.